Trolling law enforcement, what's your story? College town, huge party, excise cops are in town busting parties left and right, ours gets busted, they proceed handing out tickets to underage drinkers, one kid gets a scrap piece of paper and folds it into the shape of the tickets the cops are handing out and sits on the front steps with his head in hands repeating, my parents are gonna frickin kill me, cops just pass him right by, this kid will go far. When I was a senior in high school, we got a new vice principal from some inner city school who thought he was a real hard case. He would actually go around smelling kids fingers for the scent of weed. My buddy and I came back from lunch one day, both stone sober and heard Mr. Hard Case, I forget his real name, was coming out to the parking lot to check fingers. My friend looked at me, then wedged his right hand down the back of his pants into his butt crack. He left it there until we saw the VP coming our way, then pulled it out nonchalantly and we waited. Sure enough, the VP walked up and, in his usual threatening manner, told us to hold out our hands. I did. He smelled my fingers, then moved on to my friend. I could barely keep from losing it as he took a big sniff and then literally jumped backwards, yelling something about my friend needing to wash his dang hands. Needless to say, this ended the finger smelling technique at my high school. I knew where this story was going after the second sentence. I was speeding once, and I mean seriously speeding. I saw the lights come up behind me and freaked. I pulled over and noticed I had a bottle of water next to me, took it and poured it all over my lap and put on the most embarrassed look I could. He asked if he knew why he pulled me and I responded I'm sorry officer, I really had to pee and was trying to get to the nearest restroom, but, innocent eyes, I peed myself. Something in me knew that this cop did not want me to touch his pen, his paper, didn't want to touch my license, nothing. As far as he was concerned, I was just disgusting. He said well, next time, use the bathroom before you leave and slow it down, and let me go. Around 2am on a Saturday night I was pulled over for suspicion of DWI. I hadn't had a drop. They asked me to step out of the car and gave me a sobriety test. I passed with flying colors. They asked me if they could search the vehicle. I told them they could search the vehicle, with the sole exception of the center console. They would need a warrant for that. After several hours sitting roadside, they finally produced a warrant from a judge. The center console was empty. Ro, wonder how they pulled off that warrant. Refusal of a search is not grounds for a search. This was about 10 years ago. My mother had a large plant in a plastic pot that died. I took the pot full of dirt and put it in the trunk of my car to replant something at my house. I forgot about it for a few weeks. I got pulled over for something. The cop asked, do you know why I pulled you over and I said, was it speeding? Or was it because of the pot in my trunk he got me out of the car and had me put my palms on the hood while I was searched? He opened the trunk and was not happy. I got chewed out for wasting his time and such and such. I noticed that not one single car passed, so it wasn't wasting too much of his time. I wouldn't be able to do that with a straight face, huh? I've never actually done this but always wanted to. Get 5 total friends together all wearing costumes, dress up as a biker, construction worker, Indian, cowboy, and a GI. Then go to a public place where the police walk around, and just follow the cop around. Please do this soon. I refuted a police noise complaint with a decibel meter and a printout of the, the Boston Municipal Code on noise ordinance. The best kind of right is technically right. In my case, the cops trolled us. Huge house party, once a year thing around Christmas. The famous pirate party, lady wenches and naked dudes with eye patches everywhere. Drunk and freshmen as far as the eye can see. The cops are called, which we anticipated. They show up and it's two guys in their 30s. One is just tired, end of a long day and didn't really want to be dealing with the shit chow. The other was kind of amused by all the nautical debauchery. When two of the housemates, both over 21, go out to talk to the cops, the more serious cop just says look, just get some of these people out of here, we don't want a scene, so tell them all we won't arrest anyone. The other cop chimes in, with his very best pirate voice. Unless they're scalawags first cop fassipums and gives his partner this look that says really dude, everyone cracks the frick up and clears out in a good mood, taking most of the drunken 18 year olds elsewhere. 
It was a few days before New Year's in the Bay Area's Chinatown. I was about 14 then and me and my group of friends would always walk from school to my house just to hang out and play video games. There were about 6 of us walking up this really steep hill to where I lived. When you have lived in the same area for over 10 years, you notice things that are unusual, out of place and just doesn't seem right. The strange thing I noticed was a guy, late 30s, with sunglasses on and a hat sitting in a white pickup truck reading a magazine. We were inside my apartment for about 30 minutes before we decided to go get some food. I saw the truck on the other corner and the guy spots us. He rolls down his window and yells do you guys have any fireworks for sale? I told him I couldn't hear him but I clearly heard him. He asked again I said do you guys have any fireworks for sale? I told him again that I couldn't hear him. All of a sudden, he makes a turn, goes down the hill and pulls right up to us. Do you guys have any fireworks for sale? I said nope and he goes I know you guys do. I'm not a cop so it's cool. I told him that it doesn't matter if he's a cop or not, we don't sell fireworks because it's illegal. He starts to get irritated and starts yelling at us at this point. Come on guys, stop being wussies. I just want to buy some fireworks for my kids. We are actually walking down the street with him slowly driving next to us asking. I told him one last time, I know you're a cop and you're just doing your job but honestly, we do not sell fireworks. And by the way, a cable car is coming. He goes so what? I told him because you're going down a narrow one way street with the cable car coming up the hill towards you. He literally shat his pants as he sees the cable turn the corner in full speed. He reverses as fast as he could, clipping a few cars on his way up the hill. A cop on top of the hill sees this and pulls the guy over. The dude gets out of his truck and pulls out his badge to show the other cop that he was undercover. My friend's story. He was smoking weed in high school with his best friend. Both dudes, they had to sneak away from their parents, so they smoked in one of their cars at a scenic outlook near Roanoke, VA. Sure enough officers found them in the car, but luckily they had already finished and put the weed away. When the officer asked my friend what he was doing up there, the officer suspected weed. My friend said that he was in love with the other guy and they were about to make out. Dang southern cop didn't know what hit him, so he just walked away. Not really trolling law enforcement, but here's the closest thing I have. Early in high school, maybe 15 years old, my friends and I are cutting through a church parking lot because there is a trail through the woods on the other side, leading from one friend's house to the others. We all notice the smell of burning weed while we're near this church, so we're looking around trying to figure out who is smoking. My friend sees someone move inside the church, it's like 1am at this point pretty weird, and goes over to check it out. Soon enough there's 8 cop cars in the parking lot. As it turns out, someone had tried to break into this church the night before, and the pastor and his entire family were sleeping inside. In case they came back, they thought that was us. The cops just absolutely would not believe that we were just passing through, and smelled the same thing they surely did, and were just checking out the situation. They detained us for 60-90 minutes looking around the surrounding forestry for our bongs. One of the cops was going around to each entrance to the church, to check for signs of attempted entry. At the back door, he found a roach from a joint on a ledge right inside the church. Apparently, it was the pastor's daughter who had been lighting up right out back, and quickly put out the joint and left it there when she heard her dad yell because he saw us from the front. They wound up letting her off with a warning, and gave me and my three friends a ride for the one mile to where we were going, with their flashing lights on, which was pretty freaking cool when we were 15. I grew up in a small town, really small. The only way to have any form of entertainment was to drive 30 minutes to the next city to go to the movies, bowling, etc. Just so happens that on the highway halfway between the two cities there was a small town known for being a speed trap. The highway was out of the jurisdiction of the local police so what the marshal would do is hide in between overpasses to catch speeders, force them to pull over onto the frontage road, which was in his jurisdiction. Then he would claim an exaggerated speed. When people asked to see his radar, which is perfectly legal, he claimed that he didn't have to because it was illegal. Any claims reported to his superiors seemed to go ignored, until he ran into me. Over time my friends and I had timed his patrols and realized that he patrolled towards the end of the month. One night he had stopped a friend for excessive speeding. The officer claimed 92 in a 60 zone, which was BS. 
and then we knew something had to be done. The officer had taken his plate number and claimed to have seen it speeding many different times and we knew he would look out for it. So I decided to take my phone and rig it up to record the speedometer and get pulled over by the officer. It took a few tries but I managed to get pulled over by the same officer. For doing 70 and 60, that being a first time offense. After giving him my license he went on to claim that I was doing at least 85, and giving me the whole bit about how he cannot show me the radar, as well as giving me a ticket claiming it was a repeat offense and how I should be put into jail. All this being caught on my phone without him noticing. So a few days later I show up to the courthouse to pay the ticket and I managed to talk to the mayor of the town and showed him the video of all this. Thanks to me the officer got fired and I didn't have to pay a $400 ticket from a douchebag. That's not trolling, that's performing a public service. Downvoted for off topic, just kidding, good on ya. I work as a paramedic, and often the cops call us out to take someone that's drunk to the hospital. This is really stupid, because it just clogs up the ears and costs all kinds of people unnecessary money. Not to mention the fact that they only call us because they don't want the paperwork of taking someone to jail for such a stupid thing. So we get called out one night around midnight to some guy who had puked in the parking lot and was wobbly on his feet. He was pretty dang drunk. Nothing a good night's sleep wouldn't cure though. When we pulled up who was there but the butthole cop who wrote me a ticket the week before. I told my partner who this was and he took the lead the cop didn't recognize me. The cop gave us a quick rundown. We checked the guy out and then this happened. Partner, so what do you want me to do with him? Cop, take him to the hospital. Partner, why? There's no medical problem. Cop, we're concerned about alcohol poisoning. Partner, well I'm not, and I have more training than you. Cop, irritated, look, just take him. Partner, nah, we don't really operate like that. Cop, angrily, well he needs to go sober up. Partner, to patient, do you want to go to the hospital? Guy says no, see, I can't force him. Cop, yelling, well he can't stay here in the parking lot. Partner, pause, oh, I see the problem now. Cop, his face lightens up, yeah, partner, yeah, he's your problem, we don't take drunks just for being drunk. Cop looks stunned then turns to me hoping for a different answer, still doesn't recognize me, me, maybe you could just give him a ticket. Then the fire captain got in the cop's face and threatened to get his supervisors out to the scene to adjust the officer's attitude saying things like you don't talk to my medics like that. The fire department has that kind of clout out here. We left and I giggled for days afterward. This really isn't trolling, more of a local police officer getting owned, but I am sure it would fit in here. I live right outside of my city's limits, which means I am right outside of the local police department's jurisdiction. In high school my friends and I would always hang out at my house, so one night we all decided to go to the local McDonald's to raid the dollar menu. We're riding through town not causing too much trouble. We get our feast and are heading back to my house when we realize there's a police officer following us. Now we were playing music loud enough for it to be heard but still quiet enough not to be noise pollution. We were also going a few miles over the speed limit like most people did. I guess the officer realized we were leaving the city limit and wanted to catch us before we got away. We were literally 100 feet away from the city limit sign and 400 feet from my driveway when he put on the sirens. Instead of pulling off of the road right there in traffic I just drive onto my driveway and the office pulls in right behind me. My friends and I get out of the car and the officer pulls his weapon and tells us to get on the ground. My mom and stepdad come running out of the house to straighten the officer out. Chaos ensues and the officer fires a warning shot. This scared the neighbors and they called the sheriff's office and asked for a unit to come. Now it turns out that the local police department and the sheriff's department really don't like each other. A sheriff soon shows up to respond to the neighbor's call and ends up ticketing the police officer for trespassing and disturbing the peace. My mother drives a jeep, which the top is off and off of. We pulled up in the fire lane out front of a bank, because my mother is kind of an idiot, and she ran inside to use the ATM. I was 15 at the time, and while she's inside a police officer walks up to the jeep, sticks his head in the driver's side window, and says is this your vehicle son to which I replied yes. I sometimes like to park in illegal places and sit in my own passenger seat. He didn't say a word, stood back, crossed his arms and just glared at me. My mom came out about 10 seconds later, 
He took a look at her and said have a nice day mom, and walked away. He probably felt like your mom having to put up with your smart butt all the time was punishment enough. Junior year of college all of my roommates and I were 21 years of age. I was the only one with a car so I was the one who always had to go on beer runs. You can say I look a bit underage for my age and I drove a sportier car. So within the first month of buying alcohol from this one place I got pulled over 4 times, not kidding. After leaving the liquor store, I noticed they had no reason to pull me over except the fact that I looked under 21. The cops did play legally I guess by following me until I did something stupid or noticed something wrong with my car. License plate light out, took a right turn into the second lane, side view mirror was broken, rolling stop right turn on a red light. They made me do a sobriety test once on our busy college street. I got a lot of honks. Well after completely inspecting my car I went out again to purchase alcohol. No surprise. I was being followed by cops when I left. I knew that if I drove perfectly they could not pull me over. I drove around the block for about 15 minutes and I was shocked they were still following me. I eventually hoped onto the highway, got off, and then back on. After about 40 minutes of charades I was getting thirsty and missing the pregum so I pulled into my driveway. The cops followed me, waited till I opened my trunk and ran in and asked to see my id for the liquor. I pulled it out with a big grin and they got in their cars and left. I never got pulled over again, maybe because they finally realized, hey this dumb boss is 21. The police, always doing important things to protect America. In the city I live in, you need to purchase a license to work in public spaces the street. A few weeks ago, I was walking through a pedestrian zone, where a man was playing the violin and I stopped by to listen. Sure enough, within a minute two policemen showed up and asked him for his license. Of course he didn't have one, so they started taking his information to give him a fine. That's when an old lady started talking to me really loudly about how that's a shame and I answered something along the line of, they are right to stop him. What would become of the world if everybody just started to play music on the street? People might start dancing. This goes on for about 5 minutes. The lady and me standing about 3 feet from the police and maybe 20 people stopped and were watching. Everyone else walking by is smirking. It was a good feeling when I heard, you know what, we're gonna let you go this time. Make sure to buy a license. So it's the 1st of August in Switzerland. Same as 4th of July in the US. A few years ago, my friends and I, we drink and watch the fireworks. And then drink some more. At some point, there's three of us left. We mount our bicycles and drive down the hill back into town. Completely wasted, without light, singing. So a cop car flashes the blue lights when we approach. Really fast. Friend number one drives into the bushes on the right side of the street and hides there, completely mad. My friend and I, we don't react and come to a standstill in front of the police vehicle. Two cops get out, I will never forget what follows. The litany by the cops, duck, no light, driving in the middle of the road, endangering ourselves and other people, was to be expected. My friend nods, nods, says yeah yeah, and then one officer asks him why he doesn't have a bicycle bell mandatory in switzerland at that point i am doing the math in my head no light wrong direction no bell the alcohol we are looking at several hundred dollar sign if we're not lucky but my friend gets angry and points at a rubber giraffe on his handlebar officer i do have a bicycle bell squeezes the thing and it makes this ridiculous squeaky noise the cop gets angry and says sir this is no bell don't be silly my friend gets more agitated Says it's even louder than a standard bell and works just fine. Squeezing. Squeezing. Squeezing the thing to prove his point. At this point, I completely lose it. I cannot help myself. I am dying from laughing. And I can't stop. Even though the cop gets angrier by the second. My friend continues to squeeze the stupid rubber giraffe. Repeating, this is even better than a bell, sir. Then he starts laughing uncontrollably. 2. At this moment, my other friend, why, he doesn't know himself, decides to leave his hiding place just 15 meters across the road. He shoots out of the bushes, pedaling madly downhill, and falls on his butt, the bike flying away. He does this sort of somersault, rolls downhill fast, gets to his feet, and runs like heck. The cops watch this spectacle incredulously. We continue laughing, tears flowing down our cheeks. 
No way to stop. Who is that? The cops ask. Now not sure if they should follow my other friend or keep on with the two of us. The only answer they get. More laughter. At which point, and by now, we are totally sure that this is going to be the most expensive night ever. Their radio goes off. Some car accident. They look at us. At each other. Helplessly. Get in the car. And drive away. We. Laughing and singing. And squeaking the stupid giraffe. Drive on. No ticket. No nothing. You've been visited by the good sleep oinker. You will be blessed with cozy. Restful sleeps but only if you comment sleep type porker if you are new to the channel. You can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.